So if you remember from my last video, I compared a Commodore 64 to a Chromebook. Even though that video was meant to be sort of a funny video that poked fun at Chromebooks, it really got me thinking about, you know, what were old computers better at? What did old, like, 8-bit computers such as the Commodore 64 do better than modern computers? And I actually have compiled a list of five of the biggest things that I feel that old computers were better at. And uh, here they are. First thing I want to talk about are faster boot up and restart times. Look how quickly this Tandy Color computer turns on. And this Tandy computer also has a reset button like many other 8-bit computers which instantly power cycles the machine when you press it. You can know that at some point in time, manuals that came with computers were actually useful. Nowadays, when you get a computer, you just get some random manual with like, you know, little drawings explaining blatantly obvious stuff, followed by some warranty information that nobody ever reads. It's in like a million different languages. Then when you look at systems like the Commodore 64, it came with these two different little manuals, if you want to call it that. One is the introductory guide. It's got all kinds of information about, you know, how to plug it in and set it up, but it's actually kind of useful information and just kind of touring you with the machine. Then the next manual, which is my favorite, it's like the programming guide. It's got all kinds of information on programming and whatnot, all the different commands. It's got stuff like memory maps, and there's like example programs you can type in. Super helpful. You just don't see this kind of stuff anymore. And I really miss this. I really wish newer computers would include this kind of thing. But anyway, and speaking of programming, I also want to mention that it was easier to learn to program on these older computers because basically all 8-bit computers ran BASIC, which stands for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code, and this is what they taught in the manuals. And really, you didn't need to install any additional software if you wanted to start programming. You just turn it on and you're ready to start writing programs. It's just super convenient, super easy to learn on these machines. Nowadays you have to install like, compilers and IDEs and all that fun stuff, which can be it's just a bunch of stuff you need to set up, whereas these computers you just turn them on and you can go crazy, you can start like modifying registers and doing all kinds of programs without any additional software. Next thing I want to talk about is computers were easier to disassemble and service. Look how easy I can open up this Tandy Color computer. All I have to do is take a few screws out on the bottom and the cover lifts right off. Looking at the motherboard, lots of these chips are easy to identify and swap out if one goes bad. Now let's open up the newer HP workstation. As you can see there's a few things that we can swap out like RAM and stuff but those are just like modular components. As for like the chips and whatnot, they're really just surface mount and you can't really desolder them easily and swap them out and they're harder to identify. The final thing I want to talk about is there were no updates for the most part. 8-bit computers did have different firmware revisions, but you didn't end up in situations where you like turn your computer on or go to turn it off and you get a screen like this. Yeah, there was none of that back in the day. Sometimes you'd have people like swapping out the ROM chips for newer versions of the ROM slash firmware just because the older one was maybe a little bit buggy, but you definitely weren't like forced to download any kind of updates. And you most certainly didn't have to deal with this kind of crap. So yeah, that was five things old computers did better. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.